Hey everybody, and welcome to another episode of Backpack Battles. I think it's been a while since I've played the Reaper. I was looking through my video history and I saw the Ranger as the character for each and every one of them. I'll be honest, I personally do like the Ranger character more. Uh, hmm. Looks like we're, we've got a mirror matchup. It's garlic versus banana. Let's see which is superior. Obviously RNG will play fact as well because the coffin difference. Oh, looks like we drew. When you draw in this game from poison, I think you automatically win. At least it used to be that way. Pretty sure it's still that way. Don't know why I grabbed the dagger. Uh, kind of thinking about doing a food build, but... I've done a lot of dagger builds with Poison Lady. So it's just kind of an impulse for me. I think we're losing this round by a landslide. Which is what it is. We got two garlics in the shop. I think I'll grab them both and I'll temporarily put away the dagger. Hmm. I don't think there's a better way to... I'll re-roll. I think re-rolling really is good. I was going to say, I don't think there's a better way to organize these foods with the amount of space we got. Maybe if I put the mushrooms horizontal in the center, I could have to... Mm, but even then I'd only get one garlic with the banana if I did that. Mm -hmm. Looks like we've won. It's very nice. I'm gonna say it is 100% because of the garlic. There we go. That's pretty badass. Now, if we're doing a food build, I might as well get a frying pan as well. And I'm gonna re-roll once. I like re-rolling a bit more early because there's some sort of luck stat that you get as time progresses. Where you get more and more of a chance to get higher to your items. And a lot of the food is a lower tier, so you know. Looks like we perfectly destroyed them. Is it not even close? Don't think I'm gonna want gloves. As weird as that sounds, because the frying pan is already going to get synergy from all the food surrounding it. So I can probably get away with not having gloves, which give me more room for food. Might be a mistake. Maybe I'll pick up the next gloves I see. I have a good feeling about this round. We've got three mushrooms, our food's organized a little bit better in my opinion, and we've got a direct damage dealer as well. Oof. We got another mushroom, which is amazing. I'll pick it up instantaneously. Probably gonna want the holy armor. This food build is very slow. Relies a lot on sustain. Probably should be picking up every banana we find too, but maybe that's a little bit, you know. Wow, what happened? Oh, I was gonna look at the log. They really fucking kicked our ass. 
Now we're gonna need inventory space if we want the holy armor. Which is why I'm rolling so deep and so greedily. I'll do it one more time. We didn't end up getting anything. Well, we got garlic. Was hoping for more leather bags. Not too disappointed with the fanny pack, though. Might have been greedy to do the piggy bank. We probably could have worked in the pineapple, like up here or something. Okay, she's got a crit wood staff, but no mana generation. Got twice as much poison on her. We win this round. The greed of the extra piggy bank was unpunished. Hmm. <sighs> this is a little bit anti-greed, but I think I'm gonna get the holy armor now. Probably also want the potion machine. Or uh, the potion. <laughs> Not a machine. As we enter the mid game, we're gonna encounter issues where the enemies have more and more direct damage and are built very, very slow. So I figured holy armor sooner rather than later will get us some mid game wins, which will give us more of a cushion. Looks like we easily win this round as well. This is going surprisingly nicely, I gotta say. Usually when I do a food build, it does not go that well. build looks pretty well put together, though they are running low on stamina now. I think we... I think we'll still win this one, actually. It's not quite enough to get us. It can be a dangerous opponent next turn, though, when they have... the Super Thorn... weapon. Very cool. I probably want to reverse those potions positions. We still have three lives, so I'm, I'm still feeling pretty greedy for piggy bank money. Don't think gre I'm greedy enough to lock in another piggy bank, though. I will reduce my regeneration by one. I'm a little bit spooked by this build. The last magic staff build got us, but... Yeah, it's looking a little bit grim. Oh. Alright, we're down to two lives with seven wins. I think at this point I'm willing to start selling piggy banks. Obviously if we can get away with having them, I will have them, but you know. Not gonna jeopardize the win for it. Can I fit a piggy bank? I can fit a piggy bank. Very fantastic. It's an extra two coins for us. Uh, every time I see a dragon, I'm like, well, we're losing. <laughs> so I'm not optimistic about this one either. Yeah, it's too much damage. 
they just have all the good weapons. They've got the dragon, the fencing rapier, bloodthorn. Surprising that they had enough stamina, considering the circumstances. I think another pineapple will be good. It's a little bit extraordinarily expensive, but... Is what it is. I want to dig deeper. For items. Oh, Stamus sack is not what I'm looking for. I will grab it though. Please, no well put together build. Now, this one doesn't look too horrible. We still might lose, but... I feel less intimidated. We kind of counter Bane Prison built a bit, just because we have so much garlic. Yep. An easy peasy win. It's our eighth win under our belts. There's another pineapple. Which I think I will grab up. There's another garlic as well. I think I can go over here. Don't really have more to sell, so I think I will... Just double checking. Yeah, everything looks pretty much okay. I think I'll send it. It's slightly spooky, but we have holy armor, so I feel slightly unconcerned. Have a natural poison filter. And so much regeneration. It's our ninth wind under our belts. There's another stamina sack, which I will grab. Mm, another healing potion's not bad. We have five gold pieces. Um... Hmm. Is there a way to fit it without ruining any of my synergies? No. Or there is what would require, like, the massive reorganization of everything in my inventory. Hmm, I think we're losing this one. Ripsaw Blade's just not a good vibe. Dragon and the Ripsaw Blade counters with spikes. Just had no regeneration. They barely had any as well. Yeah, just the ruby belt. I feel like the ruby belt is extraordinarily powerful. Maybe even a little OP. I'll do another round with her. I don't want to do a food build this time. I'll do some other build, which I haven't thought of yet. But a food star is not bad. Let's see, what could we go for? Looks like this person's also doing a food build, but they fucked up the placement of the flag arc, so they didn't realize it's a three-piece frying pan. Still probably gonna die, but you know. It's a small moral victory for us. Awesome. Got our first piggy bank. Round three. Which is what it is. I feel pretty confident about our setup now. 
I mean, that is kind of scary, but we've got garlic and banana. And our fly garlic so fast. Yep. It's a powerful setup. I really like the food synergies. I think they're very cool. Uh, if we're not doing a food build, what kind of build are we doing? Could do a spike build. I could maybe do the unhealing build. I don't really like these Guberts. Yeah, the magic unhealing staff could be good. In which case, I guess I'll lock in the broom. I'll just lock all this stuff down. I have no idea if we're going to win or lose this one. Feels like we're going to lose. Yeah, the direct damage was just too much. Our builds were too similar. They had more damage. Easy peasy. It is what it is. I think I will get a he uh, healing herb as well. Don't think I've ever gotten, well I definitely haven't ever gotten the unhealing staff, but I have seen it before. I'm pretty sure what it does is after you use enough mana, it will convert all healing done to damage to the opponent. So if we were to have like 10 million bananas or 10 million regeneration or something like that, it should combo pretty well. We easily win this round, so they don't have enough damage to get through our bananas. <gasps> this has got to be better healing than banana, right? Yeah, two healing herbs is the same as one banana. I will, of course, grab another piggy bank. We're doing fan... Well, we're not doing fantastic, but... I like money, okay. It was on sale, I couldn't resist. They don't have enough damage, so it's an instant win. Too much banana power. I don't think there's a healing gooper other than the vampirism one. But I'm pretty sure the vampirism one like requires mana too. I'm just gonna reroll. We could get our own Ruby Whelp. Kinda against the spirit of the healing build though. So I'll pass on it for now. I'm greed maxing. We haven't found fuck all on for our build. It might be a mistake trying to force a build. Looks like we win this round, probably. It'd be nice if we got some inventory space at some point during this run as well. I kind of like, I like these items. We're going to be seeing more of them as time goes on though. A 50% off Ruby Whelp. Alright, fine, you got me. I'll do the Ruby Whelp. I complained about it being OP. I'll embrace the OP. It's not like we're getting the mana anyways. I think we're losing this round. Maybe? I mean, they are a little bit slow. No, they got us.
Okay, this gives us some space to work with, at least. So now I can put back in those regeneration herbs. We don't really have the leeway to go too deep in piggy banks, so I'm gonna toss one of those away. I'll get another banana. Please give me a mana orb. Please give me a mana orb. You've gotten a mana orb. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know if we're gonna win this one. Looks very much like we're not gonna win this one. Ah, oh, we got kind of close. If we let survive like one more tick. We've got the Ruby Whelp at least, so it's gonna... It's doing five damage a second. Which I much approve of. Takes up zero, sta zero stamina as well. Pretty sure all the magic staff builds start with a magic staff, because the Kerwood staff required a magic staff. After that, I don't know the recipe for the healing staff. It might be a vampirism trinket, maybe? We win this round. We're up to five wins. I guess I'm gonna Google this shit real quick. So, backpack battles, healing staff, recipe. Okay, magic staff plus demon flask is the staff of unhealing. Oh my god, I almost fucking. <laughs> I would never guess that. Oh, thank goodness. I guess I'll just whoosh, get that right now. Holy fuck. Now watch, let's just lose this round. That'd be so fucking anus if it happened. Please, no loss. It's a vampirism build. We do kind of counter vampirism. They have a f metric shitload of... Regeneration and turn into vampirism, though. Oh my god. Please no. Please no. Fuck. God damn it. You've got to be kidding me. Whatever, I'm going again. I want this fucking staff. That really pisses me the fuck off, I'm not gonna lie literally falling at the finish line. It's so BS. Oh, I, I rolled past Broom. Oh, I'm triggered. This is bullshit. I think we win this round. Easy peasy. We have two garlics. They've got one hero sword. It's just math. The hero sword sucks balls. I will get a healing potion. And another leather bag. I'm pretty happy that uh, with our leather bag RNG. I think they probably win this one because their build has a dagger and mine does not. No, we won. Well, we drew. I'll take it. Big fan of undeserved wins. You know, we might as well get a spiky buckler too. <laughs> they got four piggy banks and a broom. I'm so jelly. I think they're still gonna lose this round, but they're setting up for a powerhouse build. I can feel it. They're going to the top. I'm gonna resist getting a banana. I think I will get a little more garlic. I think we weren't garlicked up enough last time. I feel bitter. Ooh, two hero swords is kind of scary. 
Yeah, we're, we're already at half HP. Nothing to be done. It's just too much synergy. We did get our speed bag, and we got some blueberries, and another good sack, and another potion. Probably I should have put the blueberries right here and rotated the scarlet a little bit. It is what it is. I don't think we're going to be punished. They only have one hero sword. You have three garlics. So, mathematically, they just can't bust past armor. It's our fourth win under our belts. We've gotten a third healing potion. Uh, which I will just put in there. Definitely not opposed to another fly arc and a stamina sack. We've gotten our broom. So next turn, that'll be nice. A little bit sketched out. I think we're losing this round, maybe. But they do have stamina problems. We do have three healing potions. Oh, we won this round. It's a pretty close one. We're now on the prowl for a... Mana Orb? Why did I re-roll? I'm such a dumb fuck sometimes. I like everything in the shop, so I'm buying everything in the shop. They already have a magic staff. I see how it is. We're gonna instantaneously lose this round. They had a similar build with scaling damage, and we didn't have scaling damage. I'll hold on to the piggy bank. If we could get enough healing herbs to convert these health potions into super health potions, that'd be awesome. I think we're, we're on a negative trajectory right now. They just do too much damage. The bow is very ridiculously powerful. Uh, since they buffed in the latest patch. There's the demonic flask. Which I might as well just grab as well. Now we just need the mana orb. A little more inventory space and we'll be able to get the unliving... Staff. I don't feel super unconfident. They are poisoning us more than we're poisoning them, but we do have the ability to cleanse, eight poison. Yep. Easy peasy. It's our first super healing potion been created. We still need a mana orb. You now have space for the staff at least. Um, I will get a healing herb. There we go, there's our mana. We'd have to sell too much to make it work. So I'm fine with kicking it down the road a little bit.
they have Bloodthorn, but no regeneration. So it's just a minimum damage Bloodthorn, which is not enough to get us. They do have a lot of poison, though, so that could be an avenue. Where we miss out? Never mind, we're gods. That's our seventh win under our belt. Okay, that's a lot of inventory space. It should help us out. It's a spooky build. Is this the same person? I feel like this build's a lot better than the build I faced off against last turn. A little bit doubtful that we're going to be able to win it. But you never know. I think a lot of our power is off the back of the Demonic Flask. So it might have been a mistake not to... There we go. That gives us the space for the staff. I'm such a gigabrain. I will get a piggy bank. Just to treat myself. And I'll get the super flask too. To replace the old one. That's a god build. Two bows and two fencing rapiers. There's just no way we'll be able to survive. They're not even going to get to half HP. It's so fucking trash. So, the Staff of Unhealing, every 1.6 seconds, heal for 8. Use 5 mana, heal for 4 more, and for 2 seconds, healing also deals damage. Which is good. I kind of want this armor, too. I think the Spike Shield is only giving us a marginal amount of uh, juice. I think I'll sell another piggy bank so I can get a little bit more inventory space to work with. So I want to somehow make the potion build work without disrupting my holy armor too much. Okay, this works. Didn't need the extra space. If we can move the staff a little bit, might be able to get... Yeah, there we go. Now we're now we're cooking with gas. <laughs> so we're gonna need five mana to use the staff of unhealing. Unfortunately, we got stunned, so the timing just didn't work out. Nope, we lose this round. Staff of Unhealing, 0 out of 10. <laughs> Not my staff. I don't stand with the staff. Still, overall, even though we just lost over and over, we, we're getting pretty close to winning every single round, which I consider to be pretty good, all things considered. So yeah, thank you very much for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope to see you next time for more Backpack Battles. Goodbye!